Hey, it's Henry from ExceptionalMarketer.com. So you want to be in business, but you know, business can be tough. Business is ebbs and flows. You have good days and you have bad days. You have days when things don't go exactly the way you want them to go. And then it becomes very, very difficult to be motivated, to be motivated to do the jobs you have to do. So today I'm going to talk about what you got to do to stay motivated in business even on days you don't feel like it. So we have eight things to do to stay motivated in business, even when you don't feel like it. So let's get into it. The first thing you can do to, when, you're, when you don't feel motivated is make sure to set goals. Now, goal setting is imperative because you need to have a map, a roadmap, or a target of a destination you want to reach. So you need to set goals because when you set a goal, you're actually making a decision to act, which works counter to your lack of motivation. Now, goals have to have certain specific requirements. First of all, a goal has to be written down. If you don't write it down, it's meaningless. You'll forget it. It has to be written down. Also, a goal has to be finite. It has to be something you can measure. I will make $1,000 by next Tuesday. I will lose 20 pounds by the end of the month. That's the kind of thing you have to put down. And also, a goal must have a set time limit. You need that as well. Otherwise, saying, I want to lose 20 pounds, that's not a goal. And the truth is that a goal without a time limit is just a dream. It's meaningless because it's like your New Year's resolution, which will go away by the end of January. So you have to set a goal in order to overcome the lack of motivation. That's the first step. Now, you also have to just get started. See, the most difficult part of a tough task is finding the motivation and the energy to just get started. So what you have to do sometimes is just push yourself to start the task. And by doing that, you first of all, you gain a little bit of a sense of accomplishment because you're doing something positive. And also you're starting to build momentum. So when you just push yourself to get started, things start to go easier and it works a little bit in your favor. It's like going downhill. Sometimes you just got to get started going downhill. If you're riding a bike, you can just give yourself that push and then your momentum takes over and you're on your way. The next thing you have to do is do the toughest thing first. This We, we always have a little bit of a fear of the toughest thing, easy things, we really don't lack motivation to do. Because once we do them, they're done and it's simple. But we have the lack of motivation really comes into place when you have a tough thing to do. So if you do the most difficult thing first, you'll get an immediate sense of accomplishment. It will also build momentum. But if you get the toughest task done first, then all the other tasks will seem like they're much easier to do. Because in fact, they're going to be easier tasks, and the momentum will help you get rid of all those tasks. There's a book by Brian Tracy, who is a, uh, is a master motivator, written many books on the subject, and he wrote a book called Eat That Frog. And the, the premise behind the book is that, that you have to do the toughest thing first. For example, if you had to start your day off by eating a frog, a live frog, he says the best way to accomplish that is to grab the frog without thinking and just eat it. Just get it done. That's the same thing here. Take the toughest thing you got to do and just do it. Just get it done. You have to overcome a fear of failure. Many times what, what causes us to have a lack of motivation is because we have a fear that we're not going to be able to successfully complete our task. And coupled with the fear, this fear of failure, we also have a fear of ridicule and we have a fear of rejection. We we're afraid somebody will make fun of us, we didn't do our job well enough, or we'll get rejected, it's not good enough, do it over. 
that kind of thing. So you have to overcome this fear of failure because the truth is in many cases, in most cases, it is a false fear, but you have to understand what it is and then you can work on overcoming it. Next, you can use something called the 10 minute rule. This is a cute little rule which will help you get things done. What you do is when you've got a task to do, just agree to work on it for only 10 minutes. If you need to write a report for work or school, but let's say it's work, you got a report you have to write for work, or you have to design a website, and it may take you hours to do something like that. Just say to yourself, I'm going to work on this for 10 solid minutes. And then after the 10 minutes have ended, just do it again. All you got to do is say, I want to do it for another 10 minutes. There's an old adage, what's the best way to eat an elephant? And the answer is one bite at a time. So what you're doing here is in your own mind, you're dividing your task into smaller tasks. You're saying, I'm going to only do this for 10 minutes. I know that I can motivate myself to work for 10 minutes. And then after that, we'll see what happens. Next, break it down to small tasks. You take a large task and break it down to smaller component tasks. And then upon the completion of each of the small tasks, that will create its own momentum again and a sense of accomplishment. Because once you get started, it's easier to continue on. It's easier to overcome any remainder of motivation, lack of motivation that you have. And also a good idea is to reward yourself on completion of each small task. For example, you have to write a 7,000 word report for work. Well, write 500 words and take a 10 minute break. Write another 500 words, take a 10 minute break. And during that 10 minute break, go get yourself a cup of coffee. Maybe you wanna read a newspaper article. Maybe you wanna eat some ice cream. Give yourself a little bit of reward, but breaking it down to smaller tasks makes it easier to complete each task and it builds that sense of accomplishment. The next thing is remove distractions. This is a biggie because we are completely surrounded by distractions. We have social media. You can go on social media and watch cat videos and you can go through two hours like nothing. It's like it just the time just disappears on you. Where did it go? So you have to remove distractions. You have to move that, remove that cell phone. You can't be texting people. You can't be looking up news articles on your cell phone. And of course, you got to remove the television because we're just going to watch it for a few minutes. And those few minutes add up to a few hours. And before you know it, your time is gone. So you have to learn how to remove those distractions. And then finally, you have to understand that perfection is the enemy of good. What this means is this. We have a fear sometimes that the job that we're going to do or whatever our accomplishment has to be is not going to be perfect. Maybe you're a perfectionist and you want things to be perfect. So you're going to sit there and say, well, I can't get this done because it's not going to meet my expectations. Well, you don't need to go that far. Perfection is the enemy of good. And good enough, I misspelled that word, but good enough is good enough. Do what needs to be done. Don't worry about being perfect. Just get what you have to get done. And, un and, and you'll surprise yourself and you'll find out that good enough is good enough. For example, if you're making a video like I am, and you may stumble over a few words. That doesn't mean you got to take the video and start all over again. After all, you're human and people make mistakes. So people understand that. So keep in mind that good enough is good enough. And you do not have to be a perfectionist to the detriment of getting a job done or even starting a job. So if you found value in this video, please click the subscribe button below. Uh, if you have any comments, I'd love to hear your comments. I read them all and I respond to them all as well. So I hope that you can put this to good use. I hope you can use this to overcome any lack of motivation in your business so you can get cracking and build your business to a successful end. 
In the meantime, be safe out there. I'll catch you on the next video.